minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Thirty seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T-minus twenty-five seconds. Twenty seconds and counting. T-minus fifteen seconds. Guidance is internal. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Roger, we got a roll from Tower clear. Roger, roll. Copy 101.4 by 103.6. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are confirmed to go for orbit. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go for TLI. Over. Ignition and the thrust is go. Apollo 11, this is Houston at one minute. Trajectory and guidance look good, and the stage is good. Over. Apollo 11, Hatch. 35,000 feet per second. Velocity 35,570 feet per second, altitude 177 nautical miles.
That was Neil Armstrong praising the launch vehicle. We got. Uh, we have no complaints with any of the three stages uh, on that that ride. It was uh, beautiful. Uh, Roger, we copy. Uh, no transients at staging of any significance. Over. That's right. It was all uh, all a good ride. Houston, Roger out. Apollo 11, uh, this is Houston. For your information, we expect the maneuver to separation attitude to begin at uh, 3 plus 0, 05 plus 0, 03 and to be completed at uh, plus 0, 09 plus 20. Uh, separation at 3 plus 1, 5 plus 0, 0. Roger. Time to begin maneuver is uh, 30503. Complete 30920. And separation 3 plus 1500. Uh, Roger, that separation should be 3 plus 1503. My error in reading up. Roger. This is Apollo Control, the velocity falling off now. Immediately after shutdown, we're showing 34,000 feet per second now. Let the altitude uh, building, 512 nautical miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. All the booster functions are proceeding normally. The sequencing is in good shape, and it doesn't look like they're having any problems at all. Over. Roger. This is Apollo Control, and we're showing orbital weight now, 138,892.9 pounds. Apollo 11, Apollo 11. This is Houston, over. Houston, we had to uh, shift stations. We weren't reading you through Goldstone. Uh, we show Pyro Bus A armed and Pyro Bus B not armed at the present time. Over. That's affirmative, uh, Houston. That's affirmative. Roger. S4B has completed its maneuver to separation attitude. Four minutes away from separation. Four minutes. At three hours, 11 minutes into the mission, velocity 26,314 feet per second. Distance from Earth, 3,140 nautical miles. The S-4B is reported in a stable attitude for this separation. Rates are less than one-tenth of a foot per second in all axes. One minute to separation. Apollo 11, this is Houston, uh, your go for separation. Uh, our system's recommendation is uh, arm both pyro buses, over. Okay, pyro B coming armed. Uh, my intent is to use uh, bottle primary one as per the checklist, therefore I just turned day on. Oh, Roger, we concur with the logic. We're awaiting confirmation of separation. That was uh, secondary propellant on um, Quad Bravo. Quad Bravo, yeah. Both the primary and secondary. 
Roger, we copy. Uh, he's stand by. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Radio check over. All right, Roger, we're copying you about uh, five by two. Very weak. Can you give us a status report, please? I uh, understand you are using the high gain, over. That's affirmative. Uh, Roger, I read, uh, I read you very loud and clear, Buzz. Mike's pretty weak. Roger, we've got the high gain uh, locked on now, I believe, auto tracking now. Okay, you're coming in uh, loud and clear, but uh, Mike is just barely readable. Oh, loud and clear now, Mike, and we understand that you are, Doc. That's fine. Uh, system, uh, CDI, how do you read, uh, just it? Uh, 11 CDI, loud and clear, Neil. Okay. This is Apollo Control, Apollo 11's velocity now 21,096 feet per second, distance from Earth 6,649 nautical miles. This is Houston, over. Hi, right, Houston, Apollo 11, go ahead. Uh, Roger, when you commented on uh, the quad Bravo uh, problem and separation, uh, you were a little weak. Could you uh, go through what you did uh, after you noticed the talk back to Barbara Pole again, please? We copied the, uh, this is the primary and secondary uh, propellant talkbacks on uh, SMRCS Quad Bravo 1 to uh, Barber Pole on separation. Roger. Roger, that is affirmative, and uh, we moved that switch to the uh, open position and they went back to gray. Or? Uh, Roger. This is Apollo Control. We're 34 minutes away from extraction of the lunar module from its uh, adapter in the third stage of the Saturn. The crew has started pressurizing the limb. comments on how the transposition and docking went over? Yeah, it 
I thought it went pretty well, Houston, although I expect I used more gas than I've been using in the simulator. Uh, the turnaround maneuver, uh, I went pitch Excel command and started to pitch up, and then when I put the manual attitude pitch back to rate command, for some reason it uh, it stopped its pitch rate, and I had to uh, go back to Excel command and hit what I thought was an extra proceed on the disk. Uh, then during the course of that, we drifted slightly further away from the S4B than uh, I expected. I expected to be out about 66 feet, and my guess would be I was uh, around 100 or so, and uh, therefore I expect I used a bit more coming back in. But except for using a little more gas, and I'd be interested in your numbers on that, everything went nominally. This is Houston. Uh, Roger, we copy. That was Mike Collins giving the description on the transposition and docking. Three hours, 46 minutes, velocity is 18,917 feet per second. Distance from Earth, 9,002 nautical miles. package and at that time instead of being uh, 
Up to 5 PSI. Uh, you are reading 4.4, .4, is that correct? Okay, 4.4, four, four. yes sir. Okay, and you want to know if you can go ahead and use additional oxygen to uh, bring the command module up to 5.0 and continue the equalization. Over. Yeah, we, we think it's within normal tolerances, Bruce. We just wanted to get your uh, concurrence before we pressed on with this procedure. Uh, Roger, Apollo 11. Go ahead. Okay, we're pressing on with the procedure. And uh, 11, Houston, we have a request for you on the uh, service module secondary propellant fuel pressurization valves. Uh, as a precautionary measure, we'd like you to uh, momentarily cycle uh, the four switches uh, to the closed position and then release. Uh, as you know, we have no TM or talk back on these valve positions, and uh, it's conceivable that one of them might also have been uh, moved into a different position by the shock of separation. Over. Okay, good idea. That's being done. Houston, Roger out. Uh, Apollo 11, Houston, we're doing a non-propulsive vent on the booster at the present time. Uh, you may see some sort of a, uh, a cloud coming out of it, and uh, when you're ready, I have your evasive maneuver pad. Roger, right, it's coming out. Roger out. It's uh, a haze that's uh, going by uh, toward our uh, minus X direction, and several small particles are moving along with it. The uh, actual velocity is uh, fairly high. At least it appears to be high. And we've got an O2 high, flow high right now. Houston, Roger out. Roger 11, this is Houston, understand 12 latches locked. Well, that was Buzz Aldrin reporting that all 12 of the latches in the docking mechanism had uh, locked.
Uh, 11 Houston, uh, whenever you're uh, possessed of a free moment there, we've got this evasive maneuver pad. Houston, uh, evasive maneuver, SPS GNN, 63481, plus 09 or 5, minus 020, GETI, 0040, 40, 0100, plus 0051, plus all balls plus zero zero one nine or zero roll is your option pitch two one three three five seven noun forty four is n a delta v t zero zero one nine or seven zero zero three Zero zero one five two. The rest of the pad is NA. No ellage. Lem weight three three two nine or zero. Read back over. Houston, standing by for your read back over. Eleven Houston, do you read over? Apollo eleven, this is Houston, do you read over? the pad. If you could give me the uh, last value you read, I'll pick up there. Over. Okay, uh, start with Delta VZ. Over. Uh, Roger, Delta VZ is plus zero zero one nine or zero. Roll your option. Pitch two one three three five seven. And now in 44 is NA. Delta VT Zero zero one nine or seven. Zero zero three. Zero zero one five two. The rest of the pad is NA. And no ellage. Lem weight uh, three three two nine or zero. Read back over. Roger Houston, evasive maneuver, SPS G and M. Six three four eight one. Plus zero nine or five minus zero two zero 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 four four zero zero one zero zero plus zero 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 five one plus all zeros plus 
zero zero one nine zero. Roll crew option two one three three five seven. NA zero zero one nine or seven zero zero three zero zero one five two. No knowledge. Lem weight three three two nine or zero. Over. Eleven. This is Houston. Read back correct. Out. That's Apollo Control at four hours, four minutes. Apollo 11's velocity now is 17,014 feet per second. Its distance from Earth, 11,753 nautical miles. We're about five minutes away from uh, ejection of the lunar module and about 35 minutes away from this evasive maneuver. The ignition time on the evasive maneuver, uh, an elapsed time of four hours, 40 minutes, one second. It will be a uh, service propulsion system burn of three seconds duration, delta V uh, 19.7 feet per second. Houston Apollo 11. Go ahead, 11. Would you like to uh, arm our logic switches? Uh, go ahead with the logic. Okay, Mark, logic one and two arm. Uh, Roger, we show the uh, logic arm and your go for pyro arm.
Houston, we're ready for lamb ejection. Uh, Roger, you go for a lamb ejection. Thank you. Roger, copy, cryo, press line. Uh, you turn the O2 fans on manually and uh, ensure that the O2 heaters are in the automatic position. Roger, O2 heaters are on and we're going to cycle the O2 fans now. Uh, Roger, O2 heaters to uh, auto or you can watch them in the on position and O2 fans manual on.
Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Houston, Apollo 11. All right, Roger, in reference to your question on RCS usage, uh, it looks like you're about uh, 18, maybe 20 pounds uh, below nominal at the present time. No problem at all, over. Right. Why to be 18, 20 pounds above nominal, babe? Sorry about that. This is Apollo Control at 4 hours 34 minutes. Apollo 11's velocity is 14,972 feet per second. Its distance from Earth is 15,895 nautical miles. Spacecraft weight, 96,760.9 pounds. We're about five minutes away from the evasive maneuver. That will ensure uh, there will be no problems of recontact between the spacecraft and the S-4B stage of the launch vehicle.
11 uh, Houston, your systems are looking good. We're standing by for the burn. The duration of this burn will be three seconds. Delta V 19.7 feet per second. Ignition. Shut down. Houston Apollo 11, could you confirm that pitch gimbal motor number one turned off? We just shut all four off and we got a questionable indication on the uh, ECS on uh, pitch one. Roger, stand by a second. This is uh, Houston. Stand by, please. Go ahead, Houston. You copy our residuals? Uh, right, or we got uh, zero, zero, and point two, it looks like. Uh, we had uh, point one while ago. It just went to point two. <laughs> okay. And EMF delta V counter is minus 4.0. Minus 4.0, roger. And how about pitch gimbal one? Can you confirm that off? Uh, can you stand by just a second on that? Uh, at the present time, we cannot confirm it off. We saw uh, a current drop indicating that uh, several gimbal motors had gone off. We'll be back with you in just a second on it. Over. Okay. Necessary, we can recycle it.
Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, if you go ahead and cycle pitch gimbal motor number one on and then off and give us a mark, and we'll tell you what we say over. Okay, fine. Uh, it's coming back on. Ready, mark. That's going back off. Ready, mark. And that time we got an onboard indication, Houston. Thank you a lot. Uh, Roger, we confirm that it is off. Yeah, we do likewise. This is Apollo Control at 4 hours 44 minutes. A news conference at the Kennedy Space Center is about to begin. We will uh, take down the live circuits and tape air to ground during this news conference, play it back after the conference. This is Mission Control Houston. This is Apollo Control at 5 hours 11 minutes into the mission. The S-4B slingshot maneuver was completed about 5 minutes ago, designed to put the third stage of the launch vehicle into a trajectory that will take it uh, behind the trailing edge of the moon and then into a solar orbit. Uh, the crew did not uh, witness this maneuver. The uh, command module was not in the proper attitude where they could see the S-4B at the time. Uh, we've advised the crew that uh, we do not believe that we'll do the uh, first mid-course correction, that we'll wait for uh, mid-course correction 2 tomorrow and expect a, uh, a Delta V to be performed in that maneuver of about 21.3 feet per second. Uh, we've also had uh, some other brief transmissions, including a, uh, comments from Neil Armstrong on the view out the, we out the window and a uh, weather report uh, on the part of the world he can see. We have the tape uh, of these transmissions that have occurred during the news conference at the Cape. We'll play that for you now and, uh, and catch up live. Houston, Apollo 11, we're starting our maneuver to observe the S-4B slingshot. Uh, Roger, 11, uh, we've got an updated attitude uh, for you on the slingshot observation. Okay, say the angles, please. Uh, Roger, roll 002.5, pitch 289.3, yaw 357.5, and uh, there's also an update, minor correction to your attitude for the T-52. Uh, over. Uh, Roger, I have rolled 2.5, pitch 289.3, and yaw 357.5. Over. Uh, Roger. And for your P-52 and optics calibration, it'll be roll 346.5, pitch. Three four five decimal zero. Yaw zero zero seven decimal eight. Over. Roger. Three forty six five. Three forty five zero and seven point eight. Thank you. Houston, Roger. Up. Apollo eleven. This is Houston. Over. Roger. Go ahead, uh, Houston. Apollo eleven. Uh, Roger, we're going to go ahead and enable the S-4B for the slingshot maneuver. Uh, the lock stump will start about 12 minutes from now. Over. Okay, lock stump about, uh, I guess that'll make it about zero one. Up. 
Right, I'll try to give you a little closer update as we approach it. Alrighty. And 11, for your information, the uh, magnitude of mid-course correction number one, uh, if we burned it, looks like about uh, one seven feet per second. Uh, we're presently considering not burning it. Uh, this would make uh, mid-course correction two tomorrow about uh, 21.3 over. That sounds good to us. Roger, you're looking good down here. Yeah, we didn't have uh, much time, Houston, to uh, talk to you about our views out the window when we were uh, preparing for limb ejection, but uh, up to that time we had uh, the entire uh, northern part of the lighted hemisphere visible, including uh, North America, the North Atlantic, and uh, Europe and Northern Africa. We could see uh, that the weather was good all just about everywhere. There was one uh, cyclonic depression in northern Canada and the Athabasca, probably east, east of Athabasca area. Uh, Greenland was clear and it appeared to be we were seeing just the ice cap in uh, Greenland. All uh, uh, North Atlantic was pretty good and uh, Europe and northern Africa seemed to be clear. Uh, most of the United States was clear. There was a low, uh, looked like a uh, a front uh, stretching from the center of the country up across north of the uh, Great Lakes and into Newfoundland. All right, are we copy? I didn't know what I was looking at, but I sure did like it. <laughs> okay. I guess the view must be pretty good from up there. We show you uh, just roughly somewhere around 19,000 miles out now. I didn't have much outside my window. Uh, we'll get you into PTC one of these days and take turns looking. All right, Apollo. Houston, Apollo 11, we're, uh, we've completed our maneuver to uh, observe the slingshot attitude, but uh, we don't see anything. No Earth and no S4V. Uh, Roger, stand by. Uh, in GET, I have a locked stop start time for you. Uh, it's supposed to start at uh, 5 plus 03 plus 07 uh, and stop at 5 plus 04 plus 55. Uh, LH burn starts at uh, 5 plus 37 plus 47. Stops at uh, 5 plus 42 plus 27. Over. All right, thank you. 11, Houston. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, Roger, we now recommend the following attitude. Uh, roll 307.0, pitch 354.0, yaw 019.5, and the uh, lock stump has already been enabled, so we can't hold it off any longer. That's okay, go ahead. We'll uh, maneuver around to 307, 354, and 19 and a half. Thank you. Roger. Uh, 11 Houston, it doesn't look to us like you'll be able to make it around to this uh, observation attitude in two minutes. Uh, we recommend that you save the fuel, over. Okay, Houston, we've, uh, you got to it just a little late. Our maneuver has already begun, so it's going to cost us about the same amount of fuel to stop it. No matter where we stop it in, we may as well keep going. Roger, go ahead. 11 Houston, lock stump initiated. 11 Houston, uh, lock stump has been terminated over. Roger. Roger, we still don't have the sight. Roger out. Uh, Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, if you'll give us uh, accept and stay in poo, uh, we'll set your trunnion bias to zero. And I have a, a plan for balancing your oxygen cryos over. You got it. Roger. I used the Apollo 11. We've got the, uh, what appears to be the S4B in sight. Uh, I'll estimate a couple miles away. It's at a number five window, and the uh, dump appears to be coming out of uh, 
two radially opposite uh, directions from the S-4B. Uh, Roger. Uh, they're continuing with uh, a non-propulsive vent from the liquid oxygen tank. Uh, it would be radially opposite there. And uh, Booster tell me, tells me that it's uh, the continuous vent system. Uh, they're also dumping a small amount of fuel at this time. Uh, you got about 23 and a half minutes or so until the, the apps burn over. Roger. Uh, 11 Houston, we have a recommended configuration for your cryo switches to uh, even up the load between oxygen tanks 1 and 2. Over. Okay, uh, you're coming in very weakly there. Uh, we're recommending O2 tank 1 heater off. Uh, O2 tank 2, a heater to auto. Uh, O2 tanks 1 and 2 fans both off. H1, H2 tank 1 heaters to auto. And H2 tank 2 heaters to off. Over. Roger, we have that except the uh, last one was H2 fans to uh, off. Is that a firm? H2. Uh, we have the configuration we have now is uh, hydrogen uh, heaters. We got one auto, two off. Oxygen heaters, one off, two auto, and we have all the fans off. This is Houston. Uh, Roger, we concur. Out. Uh, Eleven. This is Houston. We've completed the Trinian zero bias setting. Uh, you can retrieve the computer and go to block. Roger that, thank you. Uh, 11, this is Houston. Uh, we're just maneuvering to observe the slingshot. Uh, I guess we uh, missed copying your LEM CM Delta P reading, over. Stand by, we'll give you a reading. Uh, Roger. Right now, reading 0 0.2, Bruce. Uh, Roger, 0 0.2. Okay, Mike, and could you verify that uh, your waste compartment valve is in vent there. Roger, waste compartment valve has been in vent for, uh, oh, I guess 45 minutes or so. Roger, we copy. If we're late in answering you, it's because we're munching sandwiches. Roger, I wish I could do the same here. Uh, don't leave the console. Don't worry, I won't. Flight doesn't like it. How is Mike today? Oh, he's doing quite well. This is Apollo Control at 5 hours 22 minutes. We're back live now. The Delta P uh, you heard discussed is the difference in pressure between the LEM and the uh, command module, cabin pressure. Apollo 11 uh, coming up on... Uh, 22,000 miles distance from the Earth now. Velocity 12,914 feet per second. 